It all started with a thought. What should business in the built environment do to answer the challenges that face the world we live in? For years, the signs of global warming have been all around us, sometimes causing chaos and disaster. It was an eerie sight watching a great city brought to its knees. The second knees. wave of a storm system that has caused chaos since Monday. death and destruction 200 miles wide. on the prairies, and many farmers have given up praying for rain. Our natural habitat is being overwhelmed by urban sprawl. Carbon dioxide and other gases must be the cause. And in the UK, around half of those gases are produced by the built environment. It's time for us to wake up. I think if we call it a personal weather crisis, people would feel a little bit more motivated to do something about it. Time is running out, and there's no place for any more greenwash. It's time for Think. I think Think will definitely form part of the industry calendar in the future. I think it's a fantastic venue with a, with a great agenda. An event like this that um, very innovatively brings together uh, sustainability, regeneration and innovative thinking um, gives us a platform for looking at the challenges to the environment, the challenges for existing in new communities and how we can create the sorts of old places that we can all be proud of in the future. I think think as a, a proposition uh, and around these themes of you know, the eff effectively meeting the challenge of climate change and regeneration and sustainability and so on is absolutely the right theme for the next generation. Well, the general impression is terrific. The, the range of speakers, I think it's really important in the environmental movement to hear from all sorts of different kind of people, from government, from business, from architects, from everybody, and it's been really good. And then, of course, uh, this last session with Gore and uh, John Prescott was uh, terrific. I've been amazed at the, the participation and contribution in the, the conference part of the agenda. Uh, I think that's been absolutely terrific. All of the sessions I've either just sat and listened to or been part of or chaired have been hugely well attended. Most have prompted some very interesting questions and a lot have prompted quite heated discussion afterwards. There isn't another conference that I've been to that has, that has sort of captured as many quality speakers and, and hit the right topics together. The themes this evening are around innovation and creativity and the built environment. Certainly as we went through the expo today, it's the first event that we've run which doesn't have a carpet. It's the first event which has got cardboard seating. I think whoever came up with the idea of linking regeneration with innovation and sustainability was onto a stonkingly brilliant idea. Over 3,000 visitors attended Think, and they came from the key segments of the built environment. Crucially, some 41% of the attendees were from the senior partner level or above. This unparalleled level of seniority contributed to the highly successful Business Leaders Summit. The resulting Prince's Charter, 10 Actions on Climate Change in the Built Environment, was delivered to John Prescott after the live link with former Vice President Gore. Think isn't just an event that happens once a year. You can continue the debate, network and showcase your company on iThink, the new Built Environment Community Networking website. Think 08 will be back at Excel in the vibrant London Docklands with more exhibitors, new visitor attractions and a compelling conference programme
that will help the built environment meet the challenges of the future. Come to think, if you really want to think about this, 